tried <laughs> My you god. Tried harder for a foster. My lord, please. Oh, I am the only lord who matters here. Hum. Roderick. Help me. Tell your dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you were, Roderick, <laughs> before I brought you to heal. So now he's paying the price. Makes no sense. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. Uh, you think I'm fucking pretending. The game won't let me you know what I think. calm him down. My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man and who's the cripple. <coughs> Careful, Griff. You really don't want to do that. And why the fuck not? You're planning to stop me? Damn it. Oh, what's the cripple up to now, eh? Fancy yourself a warrior? You are nothing, Roderick. Just give up. Not today. Except it. No. You're just embarrassing yourself. No, I won't. Don't don't force me, game. You just did it by yourself. That's a bad decision. Ah! What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm not responsible I'm for this. I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Take their weapons. What are you doing? This is way too early for this. Now. This is my hall. You have no right to be here. Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me. Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roost Bolton. You flay you and your sister and your fucking family! No, we Shut can't let him leave. Bloody mouth, Grim. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! All of you! What's it gonna be, Roderick? We're done here. Clear out. <sighs> Find the white hills to the cellars. Yes. No one gets in or out. Yes. <laughs> uh... Coward! Bloody coward! Word cannot reach High Point. Exactly, that's... You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. Yes. All of them. That's the only way we can avoid or at least postpone open war. I swear I Okay. Will. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cave! What in the seven bloody hells are you I will talking not let about? you bark orders at me! What's going on? Why the hell are you drinking? Since when do I need a fucking reason? She can't fight like this, Asher! You think oh, I'm too God. drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking. Ah! Oh! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. There's the asshole I remember. Sorry, Beska. Come on, Croft. You can what? do better than that. No. Ah! 
Never. You could never have I was gonna agree fight. with Croft about with your getting drunk before going into a fight. You'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mister, anyway. what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? Fuck. <gasps> oh. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Unfortunately, we have to listen to him, even if he is an arsehole. He's in charge of this mission, and what he says He's goes... He's not in charge of me. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Oh. You're the only reason I'm even fucking here. And you told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! I'm doing this for my family, Biscuit. This is oh, the only way. It's always about you. Your family. Your problems. Oh my God. Come on, Asha. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. If that's what she wants. Is this what you want? Damn it. Thought she'd back out of it. Get off me. I can't. Don't talk about it. Biska, it's me. Talk to me. Yeah, tell me why you're afraid. I was a slave. Hmm. Here. In this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started. He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I. After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. You never get used to something like that. I'd ask what you were thinking, but maybe I don't want to know. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. That's rough. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. Well, of course. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Um. I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Well, now you should be... So, Raza. Because of that man. But that's what, what the nurse is there for. She's gonna Marine free all the slaves. The city of dead children. You should be all over that. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. Mm, she's in no good condition. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. Hey, Sarah. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. 
I know I'm not supposed to attend. But then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Mm. I need to speak with Lords Morgren and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Do I'm actually not, not convinced. If I that. knew that, I wouldn't be here. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. You said you'd help me, remember? And I've been trying. But this isn't going to help your situation. Yeah, Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. <sighs> All right. Still don't trust Sarah, but... You owe me for this. If she lets me talk to them... She's you know. with me. Oh, she lets me inside, even. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Oh, dear. Marjorie is going to be so furious when she sees me. I should have come in disguise, Mira. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This uh. is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Never heard of this guy. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. <laughs> Though I hear you don't partake yourself. <laughs> it's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people. Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What? Okay. What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate she ears anyway. Is clear. <gasps> oh, really? My That's ears enough. are not we delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little <Stop> loads. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I'm yeah, sorry, I... Uh, not make a big I'm, deal about I'm rather it. thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe this. You told me this story. So, before we go and talk to these guys, um... You know, the one of them actually uh, extended his hand in cooperation, at least. Maybe not friendship. Definitely not friendship. But he uh, gave me some good advice. And therefore, I just don't think Whitehill... Because if Whitehill is behind the um, attempt on Mira's life, you know... By the Lannister soldier. Why would he even uh, need a middleman for that? I mean, maybe maybe he would, but I, I'm pretty sure he'd rather do it without somebody there. <sighs> now that I think of it, it actually does make sense to have somebody who oversees it and uh, gives him gives him uh, messages about the whole thing and maybe that whole friendship is just a, a thing it's just an act he uh, is doing to make me lower my guard but then I can't quite remember I think we've we've met him after the attempt and he didn't quite seem surprised to see me alive. 
I'm a little split on the issue. Let's be more safe than sorry and assume he is the middleman between the Lannisters and the White Hills and uh, he's the one who who ordered the hit. And maybe try and gauge from the conversation if that is true. Let's see. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Okay. Andros, you're being ridiculous! So, here's Morgren. Eavesdrop on both of them. You can eavesdrop on those two. But why would we want to? Hmm. He knows me. And if I make myself noticeable, basically, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been wouldn't be able to uh, eavesdrop on Andros. So uh, I'll I'll try it with him first. He might not notice I'm the one just uh, It is a lot, but I involved. know how to spend it. Mm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. That's oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Of course he well, does. I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Okay, it just backs me out of it once I'm done collecting all the info I can. Is there anything else? I'd rather not go any closer. A Marjorie might see me. Uh, yeah, what about this dude? The other guy, Tarwick, wouldn't want to fraternize with him. I recognize that wine. Let's not drink from it right now. We're not invited. And let's see if we can... Uh, oh, we can talk to Andros too. Maybe that's not the right call just now. Let's see if we can eavesdrop on him first. And why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm, is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to ah. better things, as I say. <laughs> He's trying to justify his broken deal. No, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just But yet. we already knew this. So... I guess we eavesdrop on them. There's no harm in doing it. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Oh. Well... Wasn't he a Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Oh, surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. Hmm. I hear they've spared no expense. Well, that was the price to pay. Let's not too much and also, I think if you if you, you know, just run away and don't harm the Lannister guard, of course he doesn't get killed. But I think. Kills Tom. He drowns him in that uh, um, water there. You can look at the view too. <laughs> oh, why not? Oh, it seems so calm out there. Alrighty. So I guess talk to Andros, or I don't want to eavesdrop on the. Oh wait, well I don't trust Sarah, so maybe let's see what she has to oh, say. I can't remember. I, I think it was a bird. Oh, close. A cock. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's terrible. You're oh. the one telling the joke, remember? Well then. Well, that was useless. 
Uh, okay, let's talk to Andros then. Lord Andros? Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. You and Lord Morgren don't seem to be getting along. Something the matter? Lord Morgren? That is none of your concern, Lady Mirror. You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? You think you and your friend Morgren scare me? Hmm. Who said Morgren was my friend? Don't play innocent with me. I know what he's planning. You can tell him that either you both stay out of my way, or I'll do much worse than drive him out of business. What? Good day, Lady Mera. I think I said I thought both of them were working for Whitehill. Maybe. Uh, maybe Morgren has decided to go his own way. I don't know. Man, let's talk to him. Why not? <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. Mm. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I well, may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. Let's I've heard you stopped selling first. ironwood. Not on my account, I hope. How did you... So it's true. It appears that you know most of the story already. Um, what? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Oh. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. I see. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. Why would Lord Andros want to push you out? You found a man he could manipulate. Someone who wouldn't demand an equal share. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, oh, he clearly it. thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Please excuse me. So that might... That might mean Andros is the one who ordered the hit. So let's eavesdrop on uh, Andros again while we're here. And a Lannister too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friend. The friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. And if my friends happen to protect me from the crown, all the better. Mm. <laughs> I think I need more wine. So what he's doing is that he's trying to uh, secure... Uh, trying to secure protection. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Hmm. Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. Hmm. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. 
Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Hmm. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I'm sorry. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... well... I suppose <laughs> really? I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? Oops. What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Whoa. Shit, of course. Of course it's gonna happen. Just get out. Get out. The game won't let me do anything. Lady Marjorie. Ah, oh, thank you, Sarah. Okay. We're even. Again, I must wonder. Would you have had my back, uh, even if I hadn't helped her before? Lady Mira? Hmm. That was quite a scene over there. Are you alright? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Well... Just be careful around him. Alright? Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Hmm. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is... The last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. So? What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right. I'll just tell I'm not him. sure. You must understand. I can't yeah, court I really a woman just say. because I like the way she laughs. I really couldn't say, my lord. Spare me the pretense. You know her as well as anybody. Now tell me the truth. Please, Lady Mira. I can't do either. But, I guess I'll lie. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. <sighs> For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago... Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. Mm -hmm. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. Interesting. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. Whoa. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. <laughs> Why every you man's tell? entitled to his That's secrets. That's a good question. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. Well, now you're giving me a... Uh, you learned that from Andros. A way to blackmail you. The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Or blackmail him. Now, if you'll excuse me... I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira. All right. We're uh we're gathering some intel. Some strength. Do I need to talk to him? 
I think I've heard enough. I could just uh, leave the party and be done with it, but that's not gonna. Oh, we can. I'm not gonna go near the two of them. Um, yeah, the game expects me to talk to Lyman right now, so I'll do that, I guess. But I could just strike right now and we really need to tell him Andros is I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. And that way, Andros will be completely alone without You've landed the help me in of... enough trouble. Just, just leave. Without the help Look of his you. friend, you're former shaking. friend. It's an old injury. But there's more to and it than the that, help isn't of the What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. Yeah. I don't have to stand yeah, here and take out. this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. Mm -hmm. I trusted him. But that is true. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? That's not how it works, Mira, but hey. Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. What? Okay then. He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Yeah, that was to be expected. But Andros but still, is doing it in now. secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... That army will destroy my family! That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... <laughs> What's that? You bloody traitor! The way he just shambled into the scene. You promised me! And you told everyone? What are you talking about? Oh, shit. You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Well, I don't really mind that the secret is out. I mean, about me. I don't mind that the secret is out hey, Mira, about the two of you them. You made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit. Good thing you didn't uh, make another scene. Right next to uh, Marjorie there. So yeah, good day. Have a good day for us.